Good morning, everyone. Chief Executive Officer of Rwanda Social Security Board, uh, Deputy Director General of Rwanda Biomedical Center, RBC, Chief Advocacy Officer of Private Sector Federation, uh, PSF, General Secretary of CESRA, Heads of Representatives of Institutions here present, members of the press, Good morning again. Allow me to start my remarks by thanking all of you for honoring our invitation at the top manage management level of our respective institutions. I also would like to extend my sincere thanks to the organizing committee for working tirelessly to come up with the workplace wellness program and organizing this event. I'm most grateful and highly honored to deliver these remarks on the occasion of the National Celebration of the World Day for Safety and Health at Work 2023, which coincides with the official launch of Workplace Wellness Program. In 2003, the International Labor Organization, ILO, began to observe World Day for Safety and Health at work in order to stress the prevention of accidents and disease at work. The World Day for Safety and Health at work is celebrated annually on the 28th April. But we are celebrating it in our country today on the 25th May 2023 and aims at promoting the prevention of occupational accident and disease globally. It is an awareness raising campaign intended to focus international attention on the magnitude of the problem and on how promoting and creating a safety and health culture can help reduce the number of work-related deaths and injuries. In June 2022, the International Labor Conference, ILC, decided to include a safe and healthy working environment in the ILO's framework of fundamental principles and rights at work. This is an indication of the world's commitment to promote safety and health at workplace, and we all need to have our buy-in as employers and employees. Each of us is responsible for preventing occupational risk. As governments, we are responsible for providing the infrastructure, which, is, which includes policies and laws necessary and assure their implementation. As employers, we are responsible for ensuring that the working environment is safe and healthy and as workers, we are responsible to work safely and protect ourselves and not to endanger others and to participate in the implementation of prevent preventive measures. We have learned from the COVID-19 pandemic that workplaces can be of vital importance to prevent and control outbreaks. Adequate safety and health me measures at work can play a crucial role in containing the spread of the disease while protecting workers and society at large. We need to strengthen national occupational safety and health systems to build resilience in order to face crises now and in the future, drawing on lessons learned and experiences from the world of work. We also need to create occupational safety and health culture where the highest priority is accorded to the principle of prevention. Today, the celebration of the World Day for Safety and Health at Work coincides with the official launch of Workplace Wellness Program, which is part of the overall spectrum of safety and health at work. The goal of Workplace Wellness Program is to ensure safe and healthy workforce and boost productivity since workers are at the center stage of business growth. Specifically, a comprehensive and holistic workplace wellness program 
aims at creating awareness, encouraging uh, employees to take charge of their own wellness, and be more conscious of how the choices they make can influence their physical, mental, and social well-being. The Workplace Wellness Program should also aim at providing employees with tools and opportunities that should make it easier to adopt and maintain a healthiest lifestyle. lifestyle. Organizations are increasingly understanding the importance and massive financial gain of investing in corporate wellness programs because they recognize that prevention reduces the ever rising healthcare costs and creates cost effective environment to businesses. Organizations are prioritizing workplace wellness program more than ever before. Establishing and sustaining this program programs may create a work environment that encourages healthier lifestyles and fosters a productive culture. While workplace wellness program is not one size fits all, it should take into account the organization specific needs based on the employees themselves, company culture, and workplace related issues. Workplace wellness program should empower and promote a holistic approach to employee well-being. It is about finding a solution to the organization's wellness needs while encourage, encouraging organization culture of health awareness. In general, institution productivity and profits are directly impacted by the wellness of its workforce. But there is good news. It starts with me and you. Every one of us knows that while work can provide a great sense of fulfillment, it can at times be a significant source of and decent conditions. Through this workplace wellness program, it is my hope that all of us will realize our shared responsibility in dealing with workplace wellness. And now that we are turning our attention to this important to this importance of to the importance of this program, I have no doubt that we are going to impact the wellness and productivity of our people. With you all on board, I'm confident we can and will change the status quo with regard to the wellness of our employees. The critical buy-in of top leadership of the institutions here present is an indication of what we are expecting. As I conclude, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the leaders here present for the high-level commitment at the in-person presence to grace this event and becoming a driving force to delivering this program. I, will, I also would like to pledge the commitment of the Minister of Public Service and Labor and its collaboration as we join our efforts to delivering this program. Workplace wellness program is not just a program to implement, it is a way of living. With these remarks, I would like to declare that the Workplace Wellness Program is officially open. I thank you and I wish you fruitful deliberation with smile, happiness, and strength. Show that you are alive and happy. Thank you.